Hello, and welcome to the Imagine Products YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be covering some of the newest features available in the latest version of Shopa Pro. While I won't be covering every single update, I'll touch on some of the more impactful changes. If you have any questions about features not discussed here, be sure to email our support team or check out the user manual. Let's start with the Drive Details section. When selecting a drive from the left side menu, you'll notice two new options. The first, denoted by the speedometer icon, allows you to run a basic speed test on your selected drive. This feature helps you gauge expected speeds and identify any potential performance issues before starting a job. When performing speed tests, you can edit your drive I.O. settings before each test to optimize speeds. After your test finishes, you can view its results along with past test results. The second new option, found under the report icon, lets you generate a drive index. Think of this as a snapshot of everything stored on your drive, a great way to catalog data and stay organized, especially on large projects. Next up, let's go over the updates to PDF reports. When generating reports, you'll now have more customization options to tailor them to your needs. We've introduced three new report layouts. Thumbnail focused are ideal for visual overviews. Metadata focused are great for technical reviews. And finally, table reports gives you your metadata in a structured format. There's also a new option to include a summary page in your reports. This high level overview aggregates metadata like resolution, camera formats, and file types. Additional customization options now let you adjust the quality of generated thumbnails and even apply a LUT to them for a more finished look. Finally, you can modify the overall appearance of your PDF reports with dark mode and customizable accent colors. When combined with a custom logo, your reports can now better reflect your brand's identity. Moving on to the jobs list, you'll notice two new icons at the bottom of the panel. The icon to the right opens a new filter and sorting tool, making it easier to find specific offloads within your job history. The icon to the left provides access to a major improvement, viewing job history directly in the queue with a single click. Additionally, you can now generate a wrap report using the new PDF report options, making it easier to finish up after a shoot. Finally, let's talk about UI changes. While many of these updates are subtle, they improve both the look and functionality of Shopa Pro. One notable change is that total source size and available destination space are now clearly displayed in the queue, giving you a better sense of your storage at a glance. Another improvement is in the job results view, where new icons make it easier to switch between job flow, job tree, and report previews. Other refinements include changes to how you switch between simple and preset mode, updates to the job name text box, and improvements to the start and clear buttons, as well as the overall look of jobs in the queue. Lastly, the settings menu has been reorganized, grouping similar options together more logically for easier navigation. That wraps up the major updates in the latest version of Shopa Pro. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and as always, imagine together.